This book starts with the fundamental question. What is your vision and what are your priorities? Being a leader, even if you're just managing yourself, starts with a vision. Vision is a fancy word for saying, what's your aspiration? And the fact of the matter is, when you put it that way, everybody has an aspiration. You know, every business has a desire to be great at something. So then what I get people to do is really bore in, what are the one or two, three things you want to be great at? And then what are the two or three or four priorities? How should I spend my time if I want to be great at those things? Most of the time I've learned when I'm working with business leaders who are struggling, whatever their problems are, it is an outgrowth or a symptom that they don't know where they're going. So what I try to get people to do is very simply write down on a piece of paper, what is the aspiration for your business and what are the three or four priorities and not 15, three to five. And what I've found is if somebody takes the time and slows down and thinks that through, a lot of other things they need to do fall out of it. So point one is, do you have a vision of priorities? Point number two is, do you communicate it? However frequently you think you're communicating vision and priorities, it's not typically enough to suit your people. When you start communicating your vision and priorities enough to your people that they begin to mock you, you're starting to get into the neighborhood of where you need to be. Use that opportunity in every single meeting to take five to 10 minutes to re-articulate, remind everybody, here's our aspiration, here's our three or four priorities, and if you do that over and over and over again, you're gonna have a far more effective enterprise, which is why we start the book in focusing people on the enormous power of a vision with specific priorities.